In this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with Shane McHenry at the Murray Downs Golf and Country Club, where he's going to teach us a great technique to improve our chipping. But before we start, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. Plus, at the end of this video, I'm going to teach you how to lose four shots or more from your handicap in three months or less. But before I do, let's find out about this great technique to improve our chipping. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. We're here on a par four, we've hit two shots, we're pretty close to the green and we've decided we need to chip this ball because we've got a bit of longer grass that we want to fly over the top of before we get to the green and then we want it to roll out like a putt. So we're going to go through the basic setup for a chip shot. Now, there's pretty much five big rules that we've got to follow with chipping. Um, all of this really leads around you doing your first and foremost job, which is hitting the ball correctly first, grass later. And chipping really basically mimics the impact position of a full swing. So if we were to pretend here like I was going to hit a full shot, the impact position of most top tour players, most top amateurs, and even, even club level golfers, when they're actually striking the ball for a full swing, they look something like that. Now some of the younger guys are gonna have a bit more hip rotation and some of the older guys are gonna have a little bit less hip rotation, but that's pretty much what we look like. That's what a successful looking impact position looks like. So in chipping, we don't really have time to make that position. We will make a little bit of a move with our body and our tick-tocking of our knees, but pretty much it comes down to those five big rules. So. What are the five big rules? So rule number one, or philosophy, philosophy one before we get to the five rules, is always, always hit downward. So we always want a downward attack on the ball. Even if it's only a small one, it doesn't have to be extremely down like it might for a buried lie in a bunker, but definitely something going downwards on the back of the ball. Then we get to our five rules. So rule number one, we're gonna stand approximately one shoe distance away from the ball. That's pretty much the same distance you'd, you'd stand if you were gonna be putting the ball. So we're a shoe distance away from the ball. At this stage, we're gonna place the ball directly off our back foot, which is your right foot for a right-handed golfer. Rule three is we're then going to twist our feet a little bit off to the left, which mimics our impact position for a full shot. And that's why we're twisting open with our hips and our feet. However, your shoulders are gonna stay, stay square to the target. Rule number four is we're gonna have forward shaft lean or the grip of the club pointing towards your left hip. And rule five, probably the most important rule is to have most of your body weight on your left foot. So we'll run through that again real quick. We're gonna be a shoe distance from the ball. The ball straight off your right foot. Twist your feet a little bit open to the left and keep your shoulders square. Push your hands forward and your weight forward. Now most people, when they get into this position for the first time, if they've never done this, they go, well, hang on, I'm all jumbled up here. I don't have any room. Well, that just means we just have to balance that out by going down the grip just ever so slightly. That should feel better for your balance. Okay, so we're in our five rules. We've got nice, soft, gentle hands on the grip. We're not gripping it like it's a poisonous snake. We're just holding it lightly so we can feel the heaviness of the club head. You can feel the heaviness of the club head. You're holding it correctly in terms of grip tension. What did we say our first philosophy was? Was to hit down. So we're gonna go ahead and hit down on this one here now. So we've flown over the top of the longer grass. We've got the distance just right. And we did our first and foremost job properly, which was to hit the back of the ball first. So I'll guarantee you this for your confidence. And I'll guarantee you this for your consistency is if you've got those five rules in play, you will hit the back of the ball correctly first. You will hit a confident and correct chip. The distance control and the direction, well that's up to you to do the kilometers and to get that right yourself. Practice is really the only trick there and if you can find another way, well good luck and I'd like to know what it is. Shoe distance from the ball, ball off your back foot, a slight little open stance, hands left, weight left, and then go ahead and hit down into the grass. The ball's in the right position, we just have to go ahead and make grass contact. The chipping setup is all related 
to what you should look like for the impact position of a full swing. There's impact for a full swing and there's chipping. That's why we stand in that position and that's why the best in the world stand in that position. I hope that helps with the consistency and your ball striking when it comes to chipping. Well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Remember to ask a question in the comments below if you need even more help and feel free to share this video with your golfing friends. As promised earlier, I want to help you easily and effortlessly lower your handicap by four shots or more. So I want to invite you to join our Search for Scratch program, which has been designed to help you find out how good a golfer you can become if you are trained with the best coaching model, practice plan, and course management system, all whilst developing a champion golfer's mindset. For more information and to become another one of our success stories, visit searchforscratch.tv forward slash search for scratch program or click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, commenting and sharing this video guys. I look forward to supporting your golf improvement in the Search for Scratch program.